This video explains how I attached a motorcycle front end to the Vector Typhoon or E-Leak Enduro frame that is usually set up with downhill bike suspension systems. A quick recap first for people new to the channel who have not seen any of my videos on this bike. This is a multi-purpose light electric motorcycle being built with the Lightning Rods big block motor. It's a 10 kilowatt rated IPM motor more commonly found in light electric trucks, so it has the grunt to shift heavy cargo. That same power will also make a light electric motorcycle with great torque and power. It's great to be able to finally show a bit more on this build. Shipping issues seem to be a fact of life these days. This is the part that I've been waiting for, which is the triple clamps or triple tree to hold the front forks, allowing the bike to turn left or right. The steering tube on this bike is set up to work with bicycle components with bearings to fit a one and one eighth inch stem. These are the components that came with the frame. You can see how the bearings are seated in cups, which then press into the top and bottom of the steering tube. This is how a bicycle fork can turn left and right. The stem on a motorcycle front forks, however, is a bit different. The bearings are generally of this roller type where you have multiple bearings all around. This bearing then sits in the bearing cup, which is made of hardened steel. One of these on top and one of these on bottom allows the steering to work. The diameter on the inside of the steering tube is 50 millimeters. The bearing cup is 42 millimeters. In order to allow the bearing cups to fit in each end of the steering tube and not drop through, I needed to create something for the cup to sit in. To do this, I've made adapters which go in the top and bottom of the steering tube and reduce the diameter to the 42 millimeters of the bearing cup. It's easier to show if I build it on the bike, so let's do that. So the way this goes on the bike is you take the lower part of the triple tree and it's already got the, the lower bearing pressed on. It has this uh, rubber seal as well. And you take the lower adapter and that has the, the bearing cup already pressed in there. And you basically fit this over the top of the stem, down on the top. And then this pushes up into the lower part here of the steering tube. And slots into place there. Then you take the upper adapter cup. And this again has one of those bearings cups inside and also the bearing and that slots on the top then onto that you have a spacer and then a cap and then on the very top you put the clamp and then there's a bolt that holds all of that in position and that will get tightened up and then you put the forks on um, and I have 42 degrees of turn left and right on the steering, which hopefully will be plenty. The adapters have been made out of carbon fiber reinforced polycarbonate. They're very, very strong. One of the major qualities of this material is that it resists impact and compressive forces. Originally, these parts were just going to be an example for testing the geometry of the bike. The final product was to be made in aluminum. That's definitely an option still, but my machinist, as well as pretty much everyone else who has seen and felt them, reckons to give them a shot. So I've decided on a fail-safe system in the form of spacers to fill up the inside of the steering tube. If one of these parts were to fail at a weak point, the impact on the bike would not be a catastrophic one. Some slight play in the steering, at which point, stop and look at what's occurred. It may turn out that they don't work, but I would like to try. And if it's successful, then it means that I can print adapters in carbon fiber polycarbonate to allow pretty much any motorcycle front end to be used with these kind of frames. I think that's pretty cool because parts are expensive and there are loads of old front ends about. The next stage with this bike is to get the wheels and front brakes sorted. I'd like to test the system in terms of getting it road legal. So for the first setup, I'm looking at 19 inch wheels front and rear. Probably use a decent set of dual sport tires. I need to find a place that will build a couple of wheels to match or at least someone who can help me and make sure the result is roadworthy. Wherever possible, the parts will be DOT approved. Brakes seem quite expensive, so I'll be on the lookout for something that can be rebuilt. I will also be avoiding USPS for shipping for the time being, so hopefully no more major delays. Can't wait to see what it looks like on wheels, and I can see if it needs any tweaks to the geometry. Thanks for watching the channel. Cheers.